I think many people crave a high-end full-frame camera or a camera system, but how much does it cost? Let's figure that out today in the studio. Hello there, my name is Alex Silva. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing in order for you to learn more about photography in general, but flash photography in particular. In this video, I'm not going to talk about flashes, but I wanted to analyze again the cost comparison of a full frame system in this case. For this analysis, I defined a few criteria. I'm imagining a person <clears throat> that's going to get all this gear for themselves, probably to work. Uh, so I'm going to consider a, an SLR style, but not the flagship. I'm also going to consider the vertical grip and additional batteries for this main uh, camera body. Of course, I'm going to consider a second body, but no battery grip, no, no anything. In terms of lenses, I'm going to consider three that I, that I guess are the most used or the ones that cover um, uh, quite a bit of usage um, and that are super popular. And for that, I'm going to consider the 24 to 70 millimeter 2.8, the 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8, and a 50 millimeter. Um, that I don't want to consider the higher end uh, 50 millimeter lens, uh, but probably an f1.8 that I think all the brands or the ones that I'm considering, they all offer this lens. Another important thing that I'm going to consider uh, in, this, uh, in this comparison is that everything comes from the same brand. I am not considering third party options for the batteries, for the grip, for the lenses. One major consideration that I'm not that I haven't mentioned is that all of these cameras are, are full frame mirrorless cameras. You can take a look at the actual table and all the details of the gear mentioned in this video and in the corresponding blog post uh, that I'm going to link in the description below. Without further ado, let's take a look a really quick look at the table and we can see that the most expensive system considering all this gear is the Canon system. In that case, I'm considering the camera, the, the, as the main camera as the EOS uh, R5 with the battery, the corresponding battery grip and addition and two additional batteries. The second body is the R6. The least expensive system it was a bit of a surprise for me was Nikon. If you make a, a list considering the, the top or the main camera as being the Z7 Mark II, the corresponding uh, cam uh, battery grip or vertical grip and uh, two additional batteries. The second body is the Z6 Mark II as well. And of course the corresponding the 24 to 70 millimeter lenses, the 70 to 200 and the 50 millimeter 1 f1.8. In between with a, with a price difference of less than $100 in, uh, between each other are Sony and Panasonic. For Sony, I consider the A7R Mark IV as the main body with battery grip and additional batteries. <clears throat> and the second body is the A7 Mark III. For Panasonic, I consider the main camera as the S1R not the S1H because that is uh, that camera is more focused or more oriented towards video. So I consider the S1R um, and the second body is the S5. As you can see, uh, assembling a kit of a full frame, more or less high end system, everything from the same brand um, it's a major investment for many people, starting at $11,000. However, if your business justifies it, of course, go for it. If not, as many people do, um, uh, you can start with less expensive gear and your, you can work your way up as the business progresses and if the business justifies the investment. 
As I mentioned before, you can find a more detailed list of all the gear that I considered for this comparison, um, along with affiliate links for you, for you to buy if you are interested in this gear. I really hope you found this video interesting, informative, but also entertaining. If that is the case, please press the like button or the thanks button. You can also subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. But most of all, please remember to stay safe, keep learning and keep creating. And I'll see you in the next video.